Half a year ago, I wanted to know what lives in rainwater. So I decided to make a closed ecosystem with collected rainwater. However, the rainwater I collected was heavily polluted runoff water. So, although interesting, I didn't really find out what lived in actual rainwater. So I thought now, six months later, would be a perfect time to try this again. So over the course of about three weeks, I collected rainwater directly into a clean sterile jar. We've had heavy rainfall. As you may have noticed, and may have been surprised by, there's a lot of stuff in the water, mostly dust. I live in Amsterdam, which is known to be a very dusty city. Rainwater collects quite a bit of dust on its way down, especially near the ground. This water was collected in my gutter, about 16 meters above the ground. The larger particles could also have been picked up by the rain. It could also have come from rainwater that hit the gutter and then splashed back up again and into the jar again. However, I think a very small percentage of those particles actually came in that way, because that would be quite a jump. My best guess is that most of those larger particles ended in the jar because of raindrops that bounced off the roof tiles and took some of the particles. In any case, this time I put a jar in the gutter and collected rainwater, nothing more. I prepared a microscopic slide in order to examine the water through the microscope. I'm quite new to microscopy, so you'll have to forgive me for not really knowing yet how to properly inspect samples and identify microbes, and my overall inexperience. I've never really worked with living samples before, but I am learning and will continue to do so. There are clearly some microbes living in this rainwater, but not a whole lot. The round thing looks like some sort of diatome, but it could also be a ciliate. I'm not sure. However, I can say with 100% certainty that it is a microbe. I made another microscopic slide where I added some of the dust particles. Interestingly, but not very surprisingly, there's a lot more microbes here. Even though I didn't really have any idea what I was looking at, I still found it very exciting. Because I'm not very knowledgeable on this subject myself yet, I'll let you do some exploring for yourself. Interestingly enough, even though this wasn't near any dust particle, there were still quite some microbes zooming around here.
This thing looks like a ciliate, but I'll tell you what it is. It's cool. That's what it is. Some of you may be familiar with a YouTube channel called Journey to the Microcosmos. My goal is to eventually shoot footage just as beautiful as theirs. Unfortunately, I lack the equipment and experience to reproduce the beautiful images they make. But at this point, I'm having too much fun to even care. I was wondering why I suddenly stopped seeing microbes, but then I realized I had moved past the cover slip. So I was microscoping around when I suddenly encountered a large dust particle. I went to a lower magnification and fiddled around with the diaphragm a bit and the particle turned out to be green. It looks like it might have been part of a plant, but it's honestly quite hard to make out because the particle is quite thick. I also thought it would be fun to see what was visible through the microscope when rain was collected directly on the microscopic slide. So let's take a look. A few very small microbes were visible, but not many. Now that I have all this rainwater, I will leave it in this jar airtight, just to see what happens, if anything will happen. So if you don't want to miss future updates and you have it already well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching and good flying.